Hello, 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 making a clay video. I just mixed white and red together and this color came out, which is very nice. So I want to talk about what I observe in people, the way they process information, the way they learn. And I noticed that most people, the absolute vast majority of humans, they process information in a way where they take something that someone else says as the absolute total authority. And as children, this is not easy, you know, to, for us when an adult tells us, this is how it is, okay? And they might even say some threats and they say some ultimatums and they say if you do do this then you are gonna be punished or whatever you know so for us children this is very difficult and I don't blame anyone who is afraid and who you know for example someone who has been drilled with a specific dogma like a specific dictation and religion or idea about something and they are they just grow up to be afraid like you know for example some people are they are they are drilled in the Christian religion to be afraid of witches. You know, that used to be really, really severe in the past, in the Middle Ages. Then it started to fade out and many people started to see how ridiculous this was and how detrimental this was and how unethical this was. What they did, what they have done to innocent women and some men even. So some men they called witch, witches as well. So anyone who was basically a, a so-called apostate, a so-called individual thinker, uh, someone who questioned society, questioned authority, questioned the the governing governing bodies you know the 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 legal system the kings the monarchs the the dictators and the their clergy that was obviously that all used as a means to keep people in fear and keep people obedient to what they wanted. You know. Slavery, mental slavery. And I noticed that, and that's what religion is all about. It's, about, it's mental slavery. It's a violation. It's a real violation. But to, to to drill a child into a religion is a trauma and it is a violation. It's violent. And it leaves a horrific trauma and it leaves horrific fear. You know, kids that are sometimes even children's books contain, in the past in particular, contained threats. You know, threats of they were painting women in a specific light, women that stood by themselves, that questioned things. They were labeled witches. The children were, were drilled into fearing those, but there, there was a specific reason why they did this. They did this to make sure that the child grows up completely enslaved and obedient to whoever was in charge, whoever was the dictator. And so it is a, it's a tool. Religion is a tool to enslave the public. 
and it's still used to this day for that particular reason. Who is in charge today of the world or the earth? It's the corporations, okay? It's not so much a politician or a president or, you know, whatever they're called, you know, political leaders, chair people, chancellors, kanzlers, whatever they're called, you know. It, they are not as much in charge as the corporations, or the corporate agenda, you know, corporate agenda is the corporations creating a summit they have summit meetings where they hire market psychologists, where they use religion, where they keep people, where they know exactly what to do to keep people not just in line, but where they keep people suspended mentally in a state of obedience in a state of never questioning them okay so that's why the the christian religion and, and also the muslim religion they don't allow people to question anything because if people start questioning that they would be immediately outside of that religion just you know mentally suddenly you know oh i'm questioning this i'm already outside and they don't want that to happen because they want people to be submerged so that they can all be creating one army to serve whoever is the dictator. So there's no indi individualism, there's no more freedom of mind. They're all clumped together into an army of obedient soldiers in a way. You know. So whether they're actually soldiers, but they're making soldiers out of them also. That's why religion always pushes people into what they call serving their country, serving the oil industry. They're not thinking about this. So when people learn something, they don't learn it with an open mind. They learn something in a way where they, they think this is the ultimate authority. Or this is like the last statement on something. This is the, this is the truth. This is the ultimate truth, you know, or they even say their God wrote this into stone with his hand. So, first of all, that didn't happen. <laughs> and uh, whatever was written was written by people, and people are often delusional, and they have grandiose personalities, uh, grandiose personality disorders, you know, where they ha they're delusional about thinking that they are some kind of messenger uh, of something and particularly when the message is uh, that someone is not allowed to question or is not allowed to do this or that that's a red flag right there you know that alone is the test you know to any kind of philosophy or statement <coughs> or story or moral you know, that people are being taught. You know. So people need to learn, children must learn to listen to someone or read something with a very, very, very critical mind. Okay. Not just accept that what someone says not just accept oh someone says they are bad you know someone says um, this guy over there is bad and then the public thinks this guy is bad why this guy is exactly the same as this guy 
so. <sighs> you know, the witch hunt is a monstrous example of this. So, where innocent people were incarcerated and tortured, it's a horrific, horrific, horrific dark age that Europe has been through in the 1600s and 1500s. Absolutely monstrous what's, what's been going on. Research it, learn it, and learn it by questioning it, by looking at it as that what it is that authority, you know, being drilled something with an authoritative imperative, that this is a red flag, that we must question this, that information, and that we need to think for ourselves, and that we need to test things, you know, whatever we're taught, you know. When someone tells me, for example, Let's say someone says to me, if you, if you mix two clays together and you take yellow and red, you will have pink. I will say, okay, let me test that. So I mix yellow and red together and out will come orange. This here, my jacket. But if I mix white and red together, the outcome is pink. Okay, so... I tested it for myself. I mean, I didn't need to test it because I'm an artist. I've been working with colors my entire life, since childhood, since I'm two years old. So I have a very, very acute sense for color and shape my entire life. I, this is also genetic. But, you know, just to use this as an example for a child, you know. So don't just tell a child this is how it is. But, but say, find out for yourself, you know, what happens when you mix these two together. Find out what, find out for yourself and then let the child explore with clays, with colors. This is very, very important. That already teaches the child that learning is an active process in which I am involved, you know, me, the learner, you know, that the child is involved in this actively, not just passively to get a top-down processing going, but we want as much also a bottom-up processing to happen where our own interests and passions are woken up and where we start to explore, where we find out, you know, we like to touch, children like to touch things because they want to see how it feels, you know. This is all exploring. And this is also how, you know, the adult world functions, you know. A student at the university, you know, not just sit there passively, but take notes, you know. I did that at the university, you know, back, way back. The professor was, this was so shocking, 1990, professor in Berlin, Germany at the TU Berlin for psychology. He was general psychology and he was saying some very, very detrimental things. And I just instinctively already knew that he was wrong and tried to talk to people about this. And they just looked at me like I'm crazy. How dare I question this? That, so I've been seeing this author authority obedience my entire life in people. And that is what the problem is in the world. So pay attention to this. Don't accept everything that someone says. Question it. And find out for yourself whether that's true. Research as much as you can about that subject. Okay, you guys, take care.